Using a forklift, a volunteer at Giving Children Hope loads dozens of boxes into a shipping container. This container heading to Lebanon to help Syrian refugees. New clothes, uh, food, hygiene items, medical supplies, uh, things that we've been gathering here and staging at a warehouse for the past three or four months. Sean Lawrence is the CEO of the faith-based Orange County nonprofit. They serve refugee and homeless communities locally as well as abroad. This is the 22nd container Giving Children Hope has sent in the last four years. God's greatest command is to love him and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And to me, this is a very black and white uh, response to that. Lawrence and his partners know Syrian refugees are a focal point of President Trump's controversial executive order. It temporarily suspends the country's refugee program and keeps immigrants from seven predominantly Muslim countries out of the U.S. for 90 days. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer told reporters today it's not a ban, it's an extreme vetting system to keep America safe. Visit the refugees in the camp and see the condition in, in where they live. I'm sure he will change his mind about how much we can help them. Lawrence says his team's work is not political, it's humanitarian. He says it's simply about helping innocent families survive. Could there be trouble in the midst? Sure there could be, but uh, there's trouble in my own cul-de-sac. That doesn't mean that I don't go out and reach out and love all of my neighbors. Next week, the group plans to send a container to Iraq, also on the list of countries included on the travel ban. Reporting in Buena Park, Greg Lee, ABC7 Eyewitness News.